Why does poverty persist in one of the world's richest countries? Beneath the UK's polished facade lies a stark reality, a nation grappling with a silent epidemic of poverty. Millions of families struggle to put food on the table and keep a roof over their heads. One in five people in the UK live below the poverty line, including 4.2 million children. The cost of living crisis has pushed millions more into poverty. The UK's poorest communities are bearing the brunt of this crisis. The Joseph Roundtree Foundation reports 3.8 million people experienced destitution in 2022. This is the untold story of UK poverty, a story that needs to be told. As we delve deeper, we uncover the harsh truths and the human faces behind these statistics. The UK's poverty crisis is not confined to inner cities or deprived areas. It's a nationwide issue, affecting people from all walks of life. The face of poverty in the UK is diverse and often hidden in plain sight. Many people living in poverty are forced to rely on food banks to survive. The Trussell Trust reported distributing a record 2.1 million food parcels in 2022 to 23. Millions of children in the UK go to bed hungry and live in inadequate housing. The UK's poverty crisis is a complex issue with far-reaching consequences. The UK's poverty crisis is a complex issue with no easy solutions. We must hold our leaders accountable for the policies that have created and perpetuated this crisis. This is a call to action for everyone who believes in a just and compassionate society. We must demand better for the millions living in poverty in the UK. We must challenge the systems that perpetuate inequality and fight for policies that prioritize the needs of the most vulnerable. This is not just about raising awareness, it's about driving change. It's about demanding a better future for all, a future where everyone has the opportunity to thrive, not just survive. This is the untold story of UK poverty, and it's time for the world to listen. The UK's current poverty crisis is not a recent phenomenon. It's the result of deep-seated structural inequalities that have persisted for generations. The gap between the rich and the poor has been widening for decades. This economic disparity creates a vicious cycle that traps millions in hardship. The decline of traditional industries led to mass unemployment and social deprivation. The loss of well-paid jobs eroded the economic base of many communities. Globalization further exacerbated these inequalities. Many low-skilled workers found themselves in low-paid, insecure jobs. The result is a society increasingly divided along economic lines. Addressing the UK's poverty crisis requires confronting these deep-rooted inequalities. The UK's political landscape has shaped the current poverty crisis. Successive governments have implemented policies that failed to address or exacerbated the problem. The minimum wage introduced in 1999 remains insufficient due to inflation. Tax credits meant to support low-income families have been repeatedly cut. Austerity measures post-2008 crisis devastated the poorest in society. Cuts to public services and benefits disproportionately affected low-income families. Political discourse often blames the poor, ignoring systemic issues. The period of austerity that followed the 2008 financial crisis had a profound and lasting impact on the UK's social fabric, deepening the poverty crisis and exacerbating existing inequalities. To reduce the national deficit, the government implemented a series of drastic cuts to public spending, impacting essential services and social safety nets upon which the most vulnerable relied. These austerity measures disproportionately affected low-income families and individuals already struggling to make ends meet. Cuts to housing benefits forced many families into insecure and often inadequate accommodation, while reductions in welfare payments left them with less money for food, heating, and other essential needs. Furthermore, the austerity agenda led to significant reductions in funding for local councils, which play a vital role in providing support services to low-income communities. This resulted in cuts to essential services such as libraries, youth centers, and mental health support, further isolating vulnerable individuals and families and limiting their opportunities to escape poverty. The impact of austerity is not just reflected in statistics, it is felt acutely in the daily lives of millions of people across the UK. It has led to increased food bank reliance, a rise in homelessness, and a surge in mental health problems, particularly among children and young people. The human cost of austerity is immeasurable, leaving a legacy of poverty, despair, and social division.
The UK's welfare system designed to provide a safety net for those in need has become a subject of intense political debate. Critics argue that the system is overly complex, bureaucratic, and creates a welfare trap that disincentivizes work and traps people in a cycle of dependence. While there is a need for a simpler and more efficient welfare system, it is crucial to acknowledge that the vast majority of people claiming benefits do so out of genuine need and are actively seeking employment. The portrayal of benefit claimants as lazy or undeserving is not only inaccurate but also deeply damaging, perpetuating harmful stereotypes and undermining public support for social safety nets. The reality is that many people relying on benefits are trapped in low-paid, insecure jobs that offer little opportunity for advancement. The so-called working poor often find themselves working multiple jobs just to make ends meet, their wages insufficient to cover the rising cost of living. Furthermore, the increasing use of sanctions within the welfare system, whereby benefits are withdrawn or reduced as a form of punishment, has pushed many vulnerable individuals and families into deeper hardship. These sanctions are often imposed for minor infractions or administrative errors, trapping people in a vicious cycle of poverty and debt. The UK's housing crisis is a significant contributing factor to the persistence of poverty, exacerbating financial hardship, and limiting opportunities for low-income families and individuals. Soaring house prices, coupled with stagnant wages and a shortage of affordable housing options, have created a perfect storm, trapping many in a cycle of insecure and inadequate accommodation. For low-income earners, renting is often the only option, but even this has become increasingly unaffordable. Private rental costs have skyrocketed in recent years, pushing many families into poverty as they struggle to meet their housing costs. This leaves them with less disposable income for other essential needs such as food, heating, and transportation. The shortage of social housing exacerbated by decades of underfunding and the right to buy scheme has further limited options for those on low incomes. Long waiting lists for social housing mean that families are often forced into temporary accommodation, which is often unsuitable overcrowded, and located far from their support networks. The lack of secure and affordable housing has a profound impact on people's lives. It can lead to increased stress and anxiety, impact educational attainment, and limit employment opportunities. Moreover, it can contribute to social isolation and exacerbate existing health problems, creating a vicious cycle of disadvantage that is difficult to break. In the UK, child poverty casts a troubling shadow across the nation. Over 4.2 million children live in poverty, reflecting lost potential and stunted growth. Economic pressures are likely to worsen these numbers. Child poverty carries distinct and destructive consequences. Young minds and bodies are vulnerable to malnutrition and instability. Deprivation during formative years can have lasting effects. Certain areas experience much higher rates of child poverty. Industrial towns are particularly affected by high unemployment and decaying infrastructure. Efforts to curb this tide are hampered by budget cuts and policy changes. The recent surge in the cost of living has thrown gasoline on the already smoldering issue of poverty in the UK. Energy prices have soared, and with wages lagging far behind inflation, families find themselves in financial peril. More households are having to choose between heating and eating. The dramatic increase in the use of food banks is a visible sign of this crisis. There is a growing clamor for structural changes to address the root causes of this affordability crisis. Education often serves as a ladder out of poverty, but for many children in impoverished conditions, this ladder is broken. Schools in poorer areas face numerous challenges that hinder their ability to provide quality education. These include overcrowded classrooms, insufficient resources, and high teacher turnover rates. Recognizing this, various nonprofits and government programs focus on educational interventions as a fundamental part of their strategy to combat child poverty. These programs range from providing free school meals to offering after-school tutoring to help bridge educational gaps. Health is another area where the impact of poverty is both profound and pernicious. Children in poverty are particularly vulnerable, more likely to suffer from conditions like asthma, obesity, and mental health issues. The intersection of health and poverty creates a vicious cycle, 
poor health can limit employment opportunities which in turn exacerbates poverty. Initiatives like improving access to healthcare in impoverished areas and integrating health education into school curriculums are steps in the right direction. There is a pressing need for policies that address the broader determinants of health, such as housing, employment, and environmental factors. Charities and nonprofit organizations provide critical support to those affected by poverty. These organizations offer immediate relief through food banks and emergency shelters and address the root causes of poverty through education, job training, and advocacy. The sustainability of this model is questionable. Charities are often dependent on donations and grants, which can be unpredictable. The role of charities in alleviating poverty is crucial, but it is not a substitute for effective governmental action. The challenge lies in creating a robust partnership between the state, the private sector, and the voluntary sector to develop sustainable solutions. The true face of poverty in the UK is often hidden behind closed doors, shrouded in shame and stigma. Meet Sarah, a single mother of two, juggling two minimum wage jobs to keep a roof over their heads. Despite her tireless efforts, Sarah struggles to put food on the table relying on food banks. Then there's John, a former factory worker forced into early retirement after the closure of his workplace, now relying on a meager pension. These stories reflect the plight of many in the UK, facing financial insecurity and social isolation. The notion that poverty is solely a consequence of unemployment is a dangerous misconception. A significant proportion of those living in poverty in the UK are employed, often working long hours in low-wage jobs. The rise of zero-hour contracts and gig economy jobs has created a workforce vulnerable to exploitation and financial insecurity. The lack of a stable income makes it difficult to budget effectively, save for the future, or access affordable credit. The plight of the working poor underscores the urgent need for policies that promote decent work, fair wages, and a social safety net. Homelessness is often perceived as a visible issue, conjuring images of rough sleepers on city streets. However, the reality of homelessness in the UK is far more complex and often hidden from view. Families with children are disproportionately represented among the hidden homeless, often placed in temporary accommodation for extended periods. The instability and uncertainty of their living situation can have a devastating impact on children's development and educational attainment. Addressing this crisis requires a multifaceted approach that tackles the root causes, including the shortage of affordable housing and poverty. Retirement should be a time for relaxation and enjoyment, a reward for a lifetime of work. However, for a growing number of pensioners in the UK, retirement is a time of financial hardship and insecurity. The rising cost of living, coupled with inadequate pensions and cuts to social care, has pushed many older adults into poverty. The value of the state pension has not kept pace with inflation, eroding the purchasing power of older adults. The plight of pensioners in poverty highlights the need for a more robust social safety net that provides adequate pensions and affordable social care. For individuals and families living with disabilities, the path out of poverty is often fraught with multiple and intersecting barriers. Disabled people are more likely to live in poverty than any other group in the UK. They face higher living costs, including the cost of specialized equipment, accessible transportation, and personal care. They are also more likely to experience discrimination in the workplace, facing barriers to employment, lower wages, and limited opportunities for career progression. Addressing the disproportionate levels of poverty among disabled people requires a comprehensive approach that tackles discrimination and promotes equal opportunities. Understanding the multifaceted nature of poverty requires looking beyond simplistic explanations and engaging with the insights of experts. Economists point to structural inequalities, such as the unequal distribution of wealth and income, as key drivers of poverty. 
Sociologists emphasize the role of social factors, such as lack of access to quality education, affordable housing and health care, in perpetuating poverty. Activists and community organizers highlight the lived experiences of those directly affected by poverty. They emphasize the importance of amplifying the voices of the marginalized and advocating for policies that reflect their needs and aspirations. Addressing the UK's deeply entrenched poverty crisis requires a comprehensive and multifaceted policy response. One crucial area for policy intervention is the labor market. Policies promoting decent work, such as a higher minimum wage and stronger collective bargaining rights, are essential. Investment in affordable housing is another critical area for policy action. Increasing the supply of social housing and regulating the private rental sector are essential components of a comprehensive housing strategy. Tackling poverty is not solely the responsibility of governments or policymakers, it requires a collective effort from all sectors of society. Businesses can contribute by paying their employees a living wage and providing secure and decent working conditions. Community organizations play a vital role in providing frontline support to those experiencing poverty. Individuals can contribute by volunteering their time and resources to support organizations working to combat poverty. They can also advocate for policy changes that promote social justice and challenge negative stereotypes about people experiencing poverty. Breaking the cycle of poverty requires a long-term vision and a commitment to investing in the future. This means investing in children and young people, providing them with the tools and opportunities they need to reach their full potential. Early childhood education is particularly crucial, as it lays the foundation for future learning and development. Providing young people with access to affordable and high-quality education and training opportunities is essential. Moreover, investing in mental health services for young people is crucial to help them overcome challenges and build resilience. The UK's poverty crisis is a complex and multifaceted challenge, but it is not insurmountable. By acknowledging the systemic nature of poverty and implementing evidence-based policy solutions, it is possible to create a more just and equitable society. This requires a shift in perspective, from viewing poverty as an individual failing to recognizing it as a societal issue. The journey towards a poverty-free UK will be challenging and require sustained effort and political will. However, it is a journey worth taking not just for the millions currently trapped in poverty, but for the benefit of society as a whole. The UK's poverty crisis is not a distant problem. It is a present and pressing reality that demands our immediate attention. Millions of people, including a staggering number of children, are living in poverty, deprived of basic necessities and opportunities. It is a stark indictment of our society that in one of the wealthiest nations on earth, so many are struggling to survive. The human cost of poverty is immeasurable. It robs individuals of their dignity, their health, and their life chances. It perpetuates a cycle of disadvantage, trapping families in a web of deprivation that can span generations. It undermines social cohesion, breeds resentment, and weakens the fabric of our society. To ignore this crisis is not just an act of indifference, it is a moral failing. We have a collective responsibility to ensure that everyone in our society has the opportunity to live a life of dignity and security. The time for complacency is over. The time for action is now. We cannot afford to wait for another report, another statistic, or another news cycle to spur us into action. The urgency of this crisis demands that we act now with compassion, determination and a shared commitment to creating a fairer and more just society for all. Addressing the UK's poverty crisis is not solely the responsibility of governments or policymakers, though their role is paramount. It requires a collective effort, a societal shift in perspective and action. It demands that we move beyond viewing poverty as an individual failing and recognize it as a systemic issue rooted in social and economic inequalities. Businesses, community organizations, faith groups, and individuals all have a part to play in this collective endeavor. 
Businesses can commit to paying living wages, providing secure working conditions, and investing in employee development. Communities can come together to support local initiatives, food banks, and organizations working tirelessly to provide a safety net for those in need. Individuals, too, have a powerful role to play. We can volunteer our time, donate to reputable charities, and use our voices to challenge negative stereotypes and advocate for policies that promote social justice. Even small acts of kindness and compassion can make a tangible difference in the lives of those struggling to make ends meet. Breaking the cycle of poverty requires a multi-pronged approach, addressing income inequality, ensuring access to quality education and health care, providing affordable housing, and creating opportunities for all. It requires a fundamental shift in priorities, from a society that often prioritizes individual gain to one that values the well-being of all its members. Imagine a UK where poverty is not a pervasive reality, but a distant memory. A UK where every child, regardless of their background, has the opportunity to thrive, to reach their full potential, and to live a life free from the constraints of poverty. This is not an impossible dream. It is a vision we can and must strive to achieve. Creating a poverty-free UK requires a fundamental shift in our societal values and priorities. It demands that we invest in our collective future by prioritizing the well-being of all citizens, not just the privileged few. It requires a commitment to social justice, to creating a society where everyone has an equal opportunity to succeed. This means investing in quality public services such as education, healthcare, and social care that are accessible to all. It means creating a fairer economy, one that provides decent work with fair wages and ensures that everyone benefits from economic growth. It means tackling the housing crisis by building more affordable homes and ensuring that everyone has a safe and secure place to live. Creating a poverty-free UK will require sustained effort, collaboration, and a shared commitment to creating a more just and equitable society. It is a challenging but achievable goal, one that will benefit not just those currently trapped in poverty, but all of us. The scale of the UK's poverty crisis can feel overwhelming, leaving us feeling powerless and disillusioned. It is easy to succumb to a sense of apathy, to believe that our individual actions are insignificant in the face of such a monumental challenge. However, history teaches us that even small acts of courage, compassion, and determination can ignite change and inspire others to action. The fight against poverty is not won through grand gestures alone, it is won through the collective efforts of individuals who refuse to accept the status quo. It is won through the tireless work of volunteers, the generosity of donors, the advocacy of campaigners, and the compassion of ordinary people who see a problem and choose to act. Never underestimate the power of one voice to speak out against injustice, the power of one person to make a difference in their community, the power of one act of kindness to change someone's life. Every action, no matter how small, ripples outwards, creating a wave of change that can transform our society. The fight against poverty is a marathon, not a sprint. It will require patience, persistence, and a belief in the power of collective action. But it is a fight worth fighting, for a fairer, more just and compassionate society for all.